welcome to Parent Cast. I'm Miss Charlie. I'm Stephanie. I'm Heather. I'm Jay. I'm Lou. I'm Father G. Today is how would you instill discipline and structure into your child, and is there a right and a wrong way? So who wants to jump on that first? So that's it. No, 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 not me, not you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. So, right, okay, let me go with the speeches, man. So, we like... <laughs> What was it again? How would how would you install discipline, discipline. and structure into your child? So and personally, for right for anyway. myself, and I do go off of teachings like that I've seen from previous. So like from my mother mm-hmm. or any adult that I highly respect, or I've seen how the discipline or the way that they've raised their child, how their child basically come out. So I try to mm-hmm. like compare not compare. I try to take some things that I've seen from them and then do it in my style. So like say for instance. I've got three kids. So my three kids are all three different personalities. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So you have to approach all of them differently. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, like how I install discipline in all of them, which is all the same, is just let them know that, well, I've got three different types of voice. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I've got one where, yeah, it's jokes and everything's calm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I've got one where you're getting there, but you're not there yet. And then I've got the one where, listen... You, you, you cross the line and it's about to get political, yeah? Is that followed with a look? You give them the stare? No, the stare is part two. Is. No, the stare comes at part two. <laughs> at part three, I don't even know I don't even know what's going on. You know, I don't even know if I'm staring or if I'm straight or... Do you get what I mean? Like, it's just literally, like, when I get to the first stage, it's, listen, there's no talking, there's no but, 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 or... None of that, I don't hear that. It's just mm. literally cut. And I feel like, um, also... The time spent with your child as well, like it helps install like the discipline because the relationship's strong. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. with my sons, I see it like because I, they don't live in the same household as me. I see them like twice a week. Mm. It's like certain things that I install in them because they don't spend a lot of time with me. When they come back, it's like they've forgotten it, and it's quite frustrating. Very, well, not even quite. It's very frustrating because mm. they know wrong from right. Because when they're out with my mum or like the other people that know me, they carry themselves the correct way, mm-hmm. but. There's certain times you can see, like, say if they're in the same scenario that they've been with their mum, that they may slip up and think, oh, yeah, like, I forgot I was with daddy kind of thing. Do you get what I mean? So does that mean that there's not a consistent message between mm. you and the mother of your children? Yeah, mm. most definitely our discipline, a way of discipline that different. our children is very different. Very different. <coughs> very different. And it mm. does cause frustration for me. Because, again, it's not their fault. Do you get mm. what I mean? Because if, if it was installed at home as well, where they are, every day, Mm-mm. then I feel like it would be a lot easier for them to stay, I hate to say it within their role, but like, to stay... To be more consistent. Yeah, mm-hmm. more consistent. Yeah. Like, so with me, discipline is just, I feel like, relationships, like the relationship you have with your child, and that your child understands, like, well, the different levels before they actually get to the final stage. Mm-hmm. And it's, and consistency, that's the main one. Mm-hmm. Consistency yeah, is yeah. definitely yeah. key. Definitely. definitely key. As soon as you lax, the child clocks that and they take advantage mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. yeah? You can't be like, weak when they give you them looks. Listen, yeah. uh, that's one thing I can say about my daughter. She's got that unlock. Yeah. Like she, she's got on her fingers. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. And she's been looking in your eyes. Like, I'm sorry. And yeah, even, no. even the other day, she, she, she ate my donut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got told, don't eat the donut. She had her own donut. Don't eat the donut. She got left unattended. She climbed. She climbed up. This is like. I think it was you earlier on you were saying that your daughter climbed out the cop. Yeah. yeah. She's done all of that. But mm-hmm. this, she used the, the washing up the washing up basket. She, she climbed up on that, climbed up on the side, yeah? And she, then we walked into the kitchen and she's there on the side, yamming my donut, <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Daddy. Daddy. But, did you, but did you rate her for her building style? The fact that she was I rated her for the building and I rated her for the, the fact. Creativity. But rated, yeah. for the, rated her for the fact that she could look me in my eye after she just she jamming yeah. on my donut. Right. It's, not like, it's not like she jamming a donut, heard us coming and dashed the donut. She looked up while biting the donut and said, Sorry, Daddy. Uh, I just wanted to, yeah. But I thought, you know what? You know what? Kids will be kids. And I remember what it's like, I went allowed sugar till I was like eight. My mm. granddad used to sneak me sweets on a, on a dip. Same. Do you get what I mean? Eight, so, yes, yeah. yeah, till I was eight. And even then it was like, once and like maybe every Friday, you know, the end of the weekend take, well, in my house it was takeaway day. Oh, so my mum would go and get takeaway. Mm. We go to the shop, we get to pick a sweet. Yeah? One sweet when you're eight. Bro. One sweet. Oh. 
Not even a pound, like, go to, go to the No, not even a pound, like, a hundred sweet. No, 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 it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, like, Skittles, and sometimes I wouldn't even get to eat the whole Skittles pack. Uh, Listen, it was rations, yeah. So a little no, Haribo 10p, if I was bad, if I was bad, I'll get a little 10p thing, and my mum would make me wait, and she's like, if you do, if you do your chores, or, like, if you behave this weekend, mm-hmm. then you'll get that, and what little 10p Haribo thing, that's done in a second. That's why I'm now when I'm older. I didn't even appreciate it. I feel like I just got so frustrated with waiting. Like, I just, the, the, it was done too quick. Like, I can remember it like it was yesterday. That's why I, at a certain point when I started going to school by myself, like, yeah, we're going off task anyway. Yeah, <laughs> But discipline, discipline for me personally, I just feel like, yeah, it's all to do with relationship and building and mm. being consistent. Consistency is definitely like mm. the head hunter for mm. that one there still. So you mentioned how um, you look at your parents or someone that you see as the a potential role model and take elements of the way they raised mm-hmm. you. It's mad because I was raised very like, not old school, but in a sense of respect and like a little yeah. bit of fear and mm. you know, the beating. I was going to touch the on that just well. in case. A, like, a lot, a lot of people get at me. <laughs> a, a lot of people get at me for that though nowadays like, where I'm a bit harsh. Like my mum used to like, if I stepped out of line, even before she could like see it coming, mm. like what you were saying, like don't don't do that. Yeah. Don't do, like I'm like that a bit, but I try to break it out. Especially speaking to other parents on parent cars, I've heard mm. like different ways of dealing with those situations. Mm. But it's hard to break out of it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Well, see, the thing is, I made sure I wasn't that. So I made mm. sure that actually, do you know what? There's other ways. Mm. I remember yeah. like no disrespect to the white people, but do you know that the naughty corner and the naughty step by step? What is this? Then mm. I tried it, mm. and it actually yeah, works. It does the sometimes. fear of missing out, knowing that everyone else yeah. is getting on with their life and they're there, not seeing nothing. They can hear the laughter. That's painful. That's yeah. probably more painful mm. than being the being. You get yeah. used to it. Eventually, it's like, all right, here we go, another one. <laughs> do you know what I mean? All of that, boy. <laughs> but so for she me personally, me and put me in the naughty corner. I make me watch everyone else playing from the window. Standard. I'll do that inside after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so I'm ne- I don't really. I've never hit my child. The most I've done is like slap his wrist mm. or his hands. Um, but I, I just think communication and respect and understanding mm. and knowing that I love you and this is why I'm trying to talk to you. Mm-hmm. So we communicate things and mm-hmm. I say to him like, do you know why I'm having a go at you? Do you understand? He'll say it back. He'll be like, Definitely. yeah, I know that I shouldn't be doing this because. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's explained. And it to then your child, so yeah. 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 100, because because yeah. me, and my parents were just like, no, this is wrong. No, this is wrong. Yeah. So then I grew this anger and frustration towards them. Mm-hmm. I love my parents, and I've been raised beautifully, mm-hmm. reflecting back. But when you have your own child, you see yeah. it kind of different. Like, yeah. wrong. Why couldn't you compromise? Mm-hmm. But as much as, <laughs> even, and even when I do while out, I'm just like, yo, okay, I need to find something positive to say. So my thing is, if I take up, my, if I lose myself, and I and I get vexed. I then remind him of something positive. I'll be like, it's because I know you're an amazing boy mm-hmm. and I know how great you are and this is you not being great. So it's like damage, then damage control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's, I think I it's, love a little damage control. <laughs> boy. Yeah, I, do you know what I, mean? yeah. I don't want, I don't want <laughs> him to resent me or to hate me because yeah, I'm just exactly. like, 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 So, so yeah. when you're saying that, so like sometimes when you tell off your, your son, you do feel like like you said, sometimes you just end up shouting and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I check you, myself. Yeah, because mm-hmm. like, yeah. you remember how you felt when yeah. it was happening to you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And not just that, you yeah. read, like, we deep things probably differently because bear in mind, our parents are a reflection of what they've seen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's just like some of them don't think, they just inherit culture and they, have, mm-hmm. they inherit yeah. traits and it's just automatic. Whereas for me, I'm just like, let me just check for a second, why are we doing this? Yeah. I'm like, okay, this isn't useful. So I'm just, mm-hmm. in a sense now, I'm choosing to cater to my son according to like the love I have for him and where, where I'm living today. My parents are like, oh no, no, like, the, man, the madness is, the, young, the older my parents are getting, the softer they're getting. Yep. Yep. So they're yeah. breaking the rules. I'm yeah. like, swear down, and why not? And they forget how you know yeah. they yeah. 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 So it's just, Listen. yeah, so <laughs> I've, I've learned, like, my parents, that bless one. them, their heart were in a good place, but it's not how I raised my child. So there's certain areas of, like, the level of, like, my parents didn't say I love you and stuff like that growing up. Mm. They'll do different things. So my parents, my mum would be like, um, if she'll never, oh, she'll, no, she'll never say I, I'm sorry. Like yeah. she'll just be like, do you want, uh, yeah. do you want tea, yeah. or do you want, or do you want some food? Yeah. Yeah. And that was yeah. it. So for me, so like now, I tell my son, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have done this. Like earlier, yeah, like in this week, I was like, I was shouting on a phone call. Sorry, not that I do it all the time, but I was. <laughs> and then he was, he had to hear it. So I'm like, I'm really sorry. Whereas another parent would be like, come back, he's not even paying attention. Yeah, yeah. Charles, but I'm mindful Charles. that he picks yeah. up my energy, and yeah. he's a massive energy reader. So I'm yeah. responsible yeah. Yeah, for anything that he picks up on. One hundred. You don't. And one thing, just touching on that. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people, I always say to people, don't underestimate your kids because they're so always listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're always listening. Trust me. They're always, if you, like, my daughter, like, like I said, I had my two boys, <coughs> yeah, and 
that was a bit, I was young then, do you get what I mean? So like, I feel like my parenting was a lot different to how it is mm. now. Mm. And in my daughter, like, I feel like she's very advanced, she's only three, and then a lot of the stuff that she says, does, it's like, you've been listening this whole mm. time you've been here on this earth, you know, like, yeah. it's yeah. mad. Listen, like, learning, you're, too, you're, you're too clued up, mm. and where she's got loads of siblings, and she's always around her family on both sides, do you get what I mean? It yeah, yeah. and it's like, she takes a lot of it in, and mm. some of the stuff she says, like, yesterday I got, I went, Greg's, I got a baguette, yeah, I'm never giving this little girl tuna, yeah? Look, daddy, you got tuna. I said, what do you know about tuna? Is he, is he going to eat the tuna? Does he like, thought I have an accent? No, sorry. But <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> no, 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 voice. So like, you have to say, oh, tuna. Like, uh, like, I swear she's like, got some child, like, she's an old Chinese woman that came back to life. Uh, Sometimes when she talks... My son was like Mexican growing Yeah, like, they have some weird <laughs> accent, like, they're talking right. and then they just start sounding bare different. And you're just like... Okay, yeah, I get you, man. Don't worry, because you can't shut it down, because that's yeah, them expressing yeah. themselves. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. But sometimes I look at it like, oh, no, man, you got your old Chinese yeah, yeah. lady come back to come and <laughs> you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, I think for me, it was mm. a learning curve, because like, obviously I've only got one child. Mm-hmm. So um, when, they was young, when she was younger, uh, the biggest thing for me was a countdown. It used to always work. Mm. Like five, You're four, lucky. three, mm. two, one. No, because don't get it twisted. She, she used to try me all the time, mm. but. By the time you get to one, it's that consistency again. No one coming for you. Mm-hmm. Like, not, not to be, you know, like, like <laughs> yeah, that, but yeah, no. No, 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 no you know that that was, that was, that was, was it. 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 Well, like, by the time yeah. you get, get to one, if you're not by the door, mm-hmm. boom, you're that by really the door. Yeah. And it, um, mm-hmm. that, that, re, that reaffirmed mm-hmm. for her that actually, by the time it gets to one, you need to do what I'm saying. I'm going to do what I said. If you haven't, yeah. So, like, it wouldn't have to be beaten. And I figured out that there's many different things that work for her. So, like, each child's different. I know that. So, I used to feel like, um, Literally, like I said, the countdown works for her, but actually, it's just raising my voice sometimes is a thing for her. She doesn't like me raising her voice now. So it's like one of the ones that I have to talk to her calmly, and she's not listening, then I raise my voice, and she's looking me dead in my eye. So I think, for me, consistency and making sure that you're not reactive to a situation. So if your child's done something wrong, don't just snap, you know, snap yeah. at them. Actually, deep what you're doing, deep the situation. Like you said, communication, mm. let them understand mm. what's going on, and let them know that this is a consequence because of that action. Because mm. The thing is, I've realised is you need to be like that with not just your child, other children as well. And mm. it sounds crazy, but like, say your child's with a friend or whatever, yeah. and a friend does something wrong. My child, I seen it yesterday. My child looked at me, did my eyes like, "Did you see what she did?" I was like, yeah, okay, "I have to actually." Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, wait. If I did that, I'm in trouble. So how comes this one's getting? Yes, it's like I have to be consistent. I I, I always find it. I always find it easier to uh, have more control when it's somebody else's child than with my own child. But yeah, it's because you know it's not really your business. Either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the issue is, some parents will be like, "What's the big deal?" Yeah, and that's the issue. That, 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 and that frustrates mm-hmm. me. And that's why you said, you know, of your own child, you expect better. Which mm-hmm. when you see another person's child, you don't know whether they've been raised with the same values. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can't really start talking to them about certain things that they're oblivious to because they've never been exposed exactly. to that. Exactly, mm-hmm. just be looking at you like, so, "Wow, why is this adult just chatting?" <laughs> yeah, like deal, it's not yeah. a big deal. That's I what think, I used to do. I like when I used to play out on that, and someone's mum used to come out and start shouting off the odds. I'm just looking at her like. You ain't my mum. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, you're you like, out here doing the maddest out of all of us. Like, what you, what, 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 what but I think I think you not touched on something when you said like about fear and respect. Mm. I think with parenting, there's a very thin line mm. mm-hmm. between like demanding respect and actually enforcing fear to demand that respect. Mm-hmm. And and like through my kind of childhood. My mum definitely played on that, installing that fear mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. us because that's how she was raised. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like her parents, their heritage are Irish. My mum's white, but their heritage are Irish and they used to beat their kids proper. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like with broomstick, everything, bruise up, everything. Mm-hmm. That's how they used to beat their kids. So with my... <laughs> j- <laughs> well, <laughs> my mum used to get it as a kid. Do you know what I mean? But I think that you know, going down that route of like installing fear into your child doesn't necessarily install respect as well. Mm-hmm. It, it takes away from it. Mm-hmm. Like my mum, she tells me stories of like how she used to get beatings and stuff, but then flip side, she tells me stories of like bunking off school and hiding in a loft and smoking you don't, you don't at night and no all of these types of nothing. things. Yeah. Exactly, because that fear is just like, well, if they don't see, then actually there's no there's not going to be a repercussion. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to the, you installing, you know, respect. respect into that child for the child to then be able to sit down and think, actually, no, he's not going to see me do this, but you don't do want to let them want to do this? You exactly. Do I want to do this? Because if daddy did find out, he's yeah, not going to be yeah. happy with me. He's going to yeah. be upset and disappointed. And I think upset and disappointed, besides getting a beating and then sent to your bed, is different sometimes. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? That, that respect is... 
is installed and that child actually doesn't want to disobey they want to they want to make you happy they want to let you know that actually they're it's good just, and yeah. they're listening and they're on the right track the beating only lasts for a certain amount of time yeah. like, it's true well listen listen the beating my, uh, that's how I told you my, my daughter is an old child that come back to haunt me because <laughs> beatings don't work with that little girl she'll go back and do the same thing my mm. son my oldest son like when you say fear like I said I was new to this I was young mm. like my head wasn't really 100% there. Like, I knew yeah. I was a dad. I knew I had to provide. That's all, that's all it was to me. That's what I thought a dad was. Mm-hmm. You have to be there for your child and you got to provide. Mm-hmm. Yeah? All that, that, that fear, I mean, respect and discipline, mm-hmm. and all that wasn't part of my agenda. Mm-hmm. It was just literally, listen, you know, da, 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 <laughs> boom. Yeah. And, that, and he, he's actually, out of all of my kids, he has the most fear for me. Like, to a point now, that's why I said I had to change it up. Because now... I can see where it wasn't good for him because mm. he doesn't want to speak up a lot of the time. Yeah. He's kind of like hesitant to even so say his honest opinion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then where yeah. you were saying like, right, whenever I do tell him off or whenever I do ask him a question, which is it may be a bit to, a bit abrupt, like mm. having my back against the wall, mm. like he he, I do say to him like, listen, I'm only asking you this because Daddy wants the best for you. Like, yeah. I want to be your friend, but at the same time, don't think that you can just walk over me mm. because I'm your dad and I'm here to guide you. Mm-hmm. But at the same time. Mm. Think of me like your friend when you want to get something off your chest. Do you know what I mean? Don't be scared. If I say no to you, you have to get used to it. And this is what I'm saying again, where the different discipline that they got over there and the discipline they get over here, it kind of counteracts in so mm. many ways. Mm-hmm. And like I said with my daughter, like, she's just zero tolerance. Like, she's, I think she's... Yeah, she's... Yeah, yeah. But then do you feel the discipline for a girl is different than a boy? Yes. I have a son. So yes. I don't know. I know it sounds really yes. yeah. too boring if you can say it's sexist, but like, I'm not going to handle my boy the same way I handle my girl. See, I don't agree with that. I know, bro. I know you said it many times, so... I don't agree with that. Did no. someone touch on beating, beatings? Like, mm, like my beating. daughter, my daughter, I'm, she's the only child I'm, like, she, I, even when I flick her like that, that I'm, I'm like, oh, you're right. Like, <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I remember once, different. I reached a point where, like, this whole respect thing and mm-hmm. fear didn't happen, so my, I didn't have... I went for a rib, like a rebellious stage with my parents. Mm. Like, the mum once reached for a beat, and I said to her, I'm not scared of you. Yeah, I just took it. And she was like, raw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my mum, my mum, the lips side, she had to figure something out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, disrespect, you, you don't fear me. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, Back so now. all them years. No, yeah. I remember the last time my mum beat me, and it wasn't even a beating. The last time she actually put her <coughs> hand on me, she slapped me in my face, and I think I was 16. And we're standing on the stairs, and all kind of madness flew through my head. I thought, if I dash you down the stairs, it's game over. If I touch you back, it's game over. But I just gave her one stare in her eye, like, yeah, you know, serious. You know, really, yeah? yeah. And that was the last time. And you know what? She just said to me, you know what? You're too big for me to put my hand on you. So if you don't listen, you can get out of my house. Yeah. And that's when, that's that's when that that's 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 that starts. That phase of my life started. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't ready to go out there. Yeah. 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 But those beatings, like, I, I can tell you now, those beatings never worked for me mm-hmm. because I was still so rebellious. But They're temporary when, with beatings. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But with my dad, he would very rarely put his hand on me. And I think that's because he knew his strength mm-hmm. as a man. And he thought, if I do... It's not okay. Yeah, do you, you know don't what I mean? Know. You don't know. But where he would talk to me and like come down to a level and be like, "Look, you're not stupid. You know what you did wrong. Mm-hmm. You know how your mom's gonna react. Why would you do it? Do you mm-hmm. want her to react like that? It seems like you want that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, do you want attention? Do you just talk to me? And my dad used to talk to me and and like I had so much more respect. And I know it sounds terrible, but I had so much more respect for my dad. Mm-hmm. There was so much more I would not do. I just but would not say you, to my dad. You, but with my mum, I would. Do you my feel that way because, out. like you just said, because he didn't have that 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 fear factor approach. He had that. Oh, don't get it wrong. When my dad would shout, yeah. the whole house would shake. Everybody freeze. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it was, <laughs> but it was there was something about it because he would he would be able to talk to me on a level. And as I got older, it was so much easier to talk to my dad about things than it was my mum. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, and I think that's just because of the way Mm. they differed in raising me and disciplining me. You know what, loads of you have mentioned, um, like, different different ways you discipline, innit? Mm. But you've mentioned a lot about the ways you all have been disciplined. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of it. We come from a place, because I come from the same space, innit, where I got licks when I was a you. 100% I got licks when I was a you. Now, my mum would give me licks, so would my father, innit? But they would explain that <clears throat> these licks ain't through anger. These okay. licks are through love. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. These oh, licks no, they're no. giving me now, so when I go out on the road, because I was that wild child, there's mm-hmm. no controlling that wild child. do not matter what type mm-hmm. of parent you are. You ain't controlling that wild child. That was me, bruv, and my brother. 
we got licks at home. So when we go outside and we carry on with that wild behaviour, we know what licks feel like. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We got licks at home when we disrespected members of our family, old or young. Mm -hmm. We got licks at home when we didn't listen to the hierarchy. That's what mm -hmm. discipline is. Discipline isn't um, pretty. They mm -hmm. used to have discipline in school. Mm -hmm. You get licks. Mm -hmm. Anyone yeah. can give you licks. Discipline isn't pretty, but it's necessary. Mm -hmm. The reason it's just necessary, excuse me, because we live in a system. Mm -hmm. As long as we live in a system, you have to use the most effective tool that's going to give your child the best mm -hmm. chance yeah. in the system. Mm -hmm. Now, I've heard you also say that a fair factor thing. Mm -hmm. My mum and my pops gave me licks. If her brothers wanted to give me licks, they would too. If my father's sisters or brothers wanted to give me licks, they would too. My mum's mum gave me licks. My granny on the other side would give me licks. Granddad, everyone would give me licks. Bro, I'm not afraid of them because I understood these licks was for love. Mm -hmm. It never, ever made me afraid of them. It made me respect, bro. Respect them mm -hmm. more than anything. Would they, would they give you licks straight away? Or would it be like conversations and you're just... No, rebellious? licks one time and then conversation after. <laughs> yeah. And that's what every single West yeah. Indian parent deals with. That's we give the licks now yeah. and then we talk later on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my mum would say to me, go to your room, to my kid, my brothers, go to your room, not going outside. Remember, we're wild youths. Mm. Give it five minutes. Get out. Get that's out the yard. Don't want you in there again. <laughs> yes, man. We're wild youths. So what I'm saying is... You have to give, you have to use what's necessary and you have to yeah. use your best tools. And do not, don't put a negative stigma over the way anyone mm -mm. decides to discipline their yeah. youth. Because we live in a society now, bro, where I saw the change. Hold on one second, I saw the change. The change come in when there was a number that these children could call, fam. Yeah. If their oh, parents, yeah, not, not, yeah. not only hitting them, bro, not only hitting them, my brother, <laughs> but if they deal with the youth in a particular manner, yeah, yeah, yeah. the youth can phone this line and, and, and people will come and chat to their parents. Bro, see, now, see yeah. when that happened, I knew 100%, I laughed. Because <laughs> that's it, things are ruined now. Yeah, trust. So what do we have today, my brother? Discipline. <clears throat> we have children running around today, behaving a certain way outside, and everybody thinks the problem is this uh -huh. gang, gang, gang business. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. Because we had a problem when I was young coming up. Mm -hmm. We had this bad man business when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing mm -hmm. different. The difference yeah. is mm -hmm. things were taken away from the parents at home and given to the government. Mm -hmm. And now yep. people are looking at the parents saying, why can't you control your youth? Are you crazy? You can't do mm -hmm. It's yeah. not about the parents also, anymore, my brother. Also, I think, I think it's... You're, you're touching on some good points, but also at the same time, I think it's the environment. Do you know what I mean? It's the Definitely. environment that your child is in, and it's also be part of the environment. Exactly. So that means like your family's environment, the environment, the environment that they're in when they're out of the home, who they're hanging around mm -hmm. with, and stuff like that. Because I will tell you, I think I've only ever like, like you said, slapped my hand on my, my daughter on her hand like maybe twice throughout her whole life, and yeah, she's only six, so you could say you know she might turn sixteen, early, and yeah, it's a complete yeah. different story. But actually. When I look at, you know, her compared to other people's kids, everybody will always say, oh, my gosh, she's so polite, she's so kind, she's so well-mannered, she's Same. so, like, she, you know, she's she's amazing personality, mm -hmm. she's so lovely to be around, yeah. and she's... And like my fiancé said, like, you know, she will, she'll be like, yeah, she tried to make... She tried to persuade me to eat the chewing gum too, but no, that's mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I mean? And <laughs> Exactly. Me. And and she has a fear of getting in trouble, but we, we don't have to be. She doesn't want to disappoint you. That's exactly. what it is. Yeah, that's exactly. what I feel that like scenario so there was, so that she just didn't want to disappoint you. Yeah. 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 But yeah. remember, exactly. I think that, that it, I'm not sure, but mm. I think that maybe you two. The way we See, that may not be how she carries right. herself towards other individuals, mm. but you've raised her that way to respect everybody. Yeah. Yes, mm. but will she directly go and tell any and everybody that, yo, this person gave me something they shouldn't have? No, she no, may no, just no, tell no. you two. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying, that's but that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's a good thing, mm. but it also says, yes, the environment, the environment doesn't just shape how you discipline your mm. youth or how your youth raise. At the end of the day, our children, when we have them, we mm. have to understand this thing here. We need to start letting them go. Mm -hmm. that, that's very important. Because if you scary. don't, my brother, you mm -hmm. will ruin the child. Remember, anything of too much is no good. Mm -hmm. Anything so of too you, much what, is no good. What have you learned uh, about your this is the thing. upbringing that, that it, you implement? Um, what I've learned about my upbringing, if I'm totally honest, mm -hmm. I don't really think about my upbringing like that because there was nothing rosy about my upbringing for me to take forward <clears throat> and make things happen. It's all about my mindset 
mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. 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 Because yesterday was dark, but today things are very light and bright. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have... My, my eldest child would be 19 in November. 20 years ago, I was a reckless youth. Mm-hmm. To know that you to talk for that child... 20 years ago, to talk to my son today, I would not like that. Long, very long, but that was me. That's why I'm glad my you is the age is today, and I am who I am today, because when I sit him down and talk to him, we can talk on a level. Mm-hmm. I have to remind my children as well, remember, my you's going to be 19, you know. Mm. Bruv, I'm not your friend, mm-hmm. <laughs> my son. Yeah, yeah, you understand? <laughs> it's far the first. Yes, man. It's far the first, and I think this is another reason why the discipline and structure is the lines construed. The line's kind of hazy mm-hmm. because we want to be our kids' friends today. Yeah, that's got to happen yeah. from a young age, though, because my son. Look, I didn't grow with none of my children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them, the last one that I don't see, I stayed with her from birth to six. Her mum cut, pew, gone with the wind. Mm. I'm fighting to get that back. I've been fighting for years. Yeah, it's, a, it's a process, you get what I'm saying? Mm. But it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm doing, innit? Mm. But whether I live with my children or not, every last one of them have the respect that they should have for their father. Why? Because I've been there. You get what I'm saying? So when they speak to me, they know this. It's yes, dad, no, dad, three bags full, dad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't give me this yes. Yeah, no, I mean, no, 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 yes. Forget that. No, yes. Who's yes? Yeah. Yeah. Am, I, am I yes on road? Right. Am I, am I right. yes in right. class? No. I'm right. yes, now, this yes, is the way yes. I decide to, to, to discipline my children. See, when they do something wrong, you know what I do to them? I say, nothing. I just sure, look, look at them. Yeah. Yes, sure, my brother. Look at them. I just look at them, bro, for ages. Stare at them, and they know exactly what they've yeah. done. Cause I'm telling them, you know, and you, oh, I'm telling them, them like you're making a rattle through their brain. Thinking, oh, why is he just standing there? Yep, <laughs> yep. And then when something <laughs> clicks in their eye, that's what I say to them. Yep. <laughs> You know. Yes, yes, man. Yes. And they say, sorry, dad. Yes, man. But it's not me you need to say sorry for to. It's just understand the behavior was naughty. You get me? Just learn from this, yeah, this day forward true. and move on differently. Yeah. So I don't think there's a right or wrong way. It's impossible because mm-hmm. there isn't one is child. Exactly. Like said, no child one child is exactly true. the same. You understand? Mm-hmm. So there's no right or wrong way. There's just, just do it. <laughs> Even though I agree with you, I'm going back on your, your point about um, the beating and the power get take away from the parents. Like, mm. Working in a school, yeah, and um, seeing how some parents are, the reason why I believe the power was taken away from the parents in that sense is because some people are reckless. And yes, man. I, I agree, agree with you, my brother. Right. So yeah. I think what they did is they tried. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying they took it away because certain people couldn't handle it. Yes, and man. I agree people, with you, my brother. Like, like, especially in our culture and some of the black culture, like some parents from, I don't know, Africa or some parents from the West Indies, that the way they will handle the kids, cool. But some people go way too far. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Come on, brother, got beat so, with a human yeah, pipe and all that. So not, many not, not the plastic where, one, the metal one. Okay, you know, okay. yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you Tennis don't need racket. to go that far. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. to be honest, I understand why it was put in place. But you know, you can still hit your kids, innit? You just can't leave them off. You can't leave them off. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, I'm, I'm very much about yeah. this living a deceitful life thing. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Not mm-hmm. one, not, not mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, bro, my daughter, from six, I never see her. She found me on Christmas. Go on, must your make your mum know yeah, yeah, that yeah. we're talking. Because I know once your mum finds out, she's going to look to cut it. So mm. if she's going to cut it, make her cut it from now. I don't want to get my heart all messed mm. up again. Yeah. Make her cut that from now. So know, said, so done. So I'm like, we... Because then she thinks that she can go around her mum to come talk to you. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. And that's what I don't want her to do. Because once that behaviour is learned, my brother, mm-hmm. that behaviour is transferred into every area of her yeah. life. Yeah. 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 I'd be deceitful here. Just a little one there. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be deceitful. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. See me, fam. I tell all my children and everyone in my family. See when it comes to me. Even mm-hmm. if it hurts me, tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. And I think this is very important, even to children and even to other parents. If you feel like you know someone who ain't doing right by their you. Tell them. Mm-hmm. This is what mm-hmm. used to happen when I was young coming up. I, my mum used to cuss off a few of her brothers saying, yeah. what are you doing with your you running out and roll that all half ten yeah, at night? Times have changed. People don't do that now. See, see, this, mm-hmm. and, uh, this, yeah, is, this is the problem. Do you know what? I think, I think as, well as, as well as you saying people don't do that no more, people aren't trying to hear it no more, mm-hmm. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think because like, I, even within my family, there's certain members of my family now, I... I I want to tell them sometimes in a real sweet and easy way, why don't you try this or why don't you try that? And like, no, I ain't trying that. Whatever, and da, 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 da. and I have a right know. to raise my child how I want to raise my child. And like, you know, and, and mm-hmm. fair dues to them. But sometimes it upsets me and breaks my heart when I see how their relationship with their child is. And mm-hmm. it's like, come on, man, like you could fix this. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you not seeing what we can see from the outside? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes when they're in it, 
they, they feel can't they have see the best ways. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's difficult to tell people these days because everybody has their own opinion. You know what it would be? Because how would you feel if someone wants to tell you guys how to deal with your child? You're oh, back come on, be honest. Oh, I'm I'm like, like, I like it. I'm not going to lie. I take it, but... For me, no, because it's always it's, it's, yeah, it's always good to hear someone else's opinion. Mm. See, this is amazing. You guys have a mind which is very rare today, mm -hmm. because when somebody is giving you a constructive criticism, mm. people take it as an no. insult. No. insult. You know what? You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? It's hard to accept it. Mm. You know what it was with me? With it. Like, like, I, like, um, like, how do I explain this? So, like, where I was saying that my mom was very strict and like. She was always trying to sugarcoat me, like from the real world and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like a lot of my family were doing the wrong things and that for a lot of years and stuff like that. And I used to be crossing paths with them, but never. I wasn't just oblivious. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't really fascinated and all that stuff. And it's like my mum always used to cope me from that. And then it's like, man, I got to a certain stage, and it was just like I was always the underdog. People always thought I wasn't aware of things, but you know what I mean? I was mad aware. So that's like what I, I'm used to, like constructive criticism sometimes because it's like. Oh, you're not like this. You're not. You're not like me. Or da 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 da. da. But you don't know if I'm like you. What do you know? Like, do you kind of get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that like, if someone sees my way of parenting and they've got something to say, listen, speak yeah, up. But yeah, you're right. But it's a variety. But then also, like, think about you mentioned about schools. Um, mm -hmm. I know quite a few teachers, and there's like you can't even pull up a parent about the child's behavior. Yeah. But that's not my business. You're the one who's teaching them. Really? Yeah. I've had people say Some like your child's that. manners. They're like, I, know, I don't really it. care. Like, from when you're enabling so you your think, child... When you think that the school... They, when, when, you think they're coming to school for, for, for more than education? Yeah, from, they think yeah. they think no, they're no, misbehaving no. They, in the classroom. They're here for education, no, 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 learn to socialise. They literally yeah. think it's the parents' job. To, I mean, the, the, the teacher's, teacher's job. job it's just a like yeah. And I get it. I understand where they're going, but they think mm. it's But there has to be consistency at home. Yeah, and this is where it goes back to what I was saying, that it goes with the consistency and the respect and the love and all of that. Do you get what I mean? Do you know what? To hear that school can't give you that. Teachers just get paid. That makes me feel ways. like there needs to be more of an awareness made to parents so they understand exactly well, what the deal is. Because to hear that, that statement makes me feel like, right, they're, they're getting that from the government mm. are taking me away from my youth, for me to work all these hours and do all this madness, yes, and my youth so has to be true. at school. So hear what? The government has to deal with my youth. No, no, that's no, how no, that's, I don't that's think the it's mentality. That. I don't think it's it that. sounds I like it. Very much so it if, if they're not going to discipline their youth, but they're telling the teacher, I thought that was your space. I think it's two things. What you said is potentially true, but also the fact that some of these because some of these parents are young some of them are trying to like befriend their children mm -hmm. that the whole discipline thing hasn't worked mm -hmm. so they don't know how to start pulling up their child mm -hmm. so it's not a case of them deeping the whole government side there are people who will deep it on that level i get that deal with it. when and you say young how, how old when you say young how old would how old as in, as in, from, i mean from eight. like me for yeah. instance no i mean yeah. i mean how old is the parent the yeah. parent how old is the parent the yeah, person that's what I'm saying. Child. i'm trying to be young they can be like is 20 like 20 ish yeah. like, all the way up to 40 and they don't know how to raise a child and yeah. then it becomes a teacher's job to then on top of teaching and planning all that yeah. to help that it's child mm. just help put things in place at place, home yeah. so that the child whatever you yeah. teach the child yeah. at school what's more than your way to replicate like i worked in the school for a bit um kids with behavior problems yeah mm. so i could get the child from monday kid coming dashing chair whatever going mad blah, 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 talk to them get them down get them into the mindset where they need to go by Friday, that child is amazing, mm. on point, mm -hmm. following instructions, understands the rules and regulations. Go Saturday, Sunday, come back mad, That's yeah. good, mad. Yeah. And the reason being is because the parents just let them do what they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what you have to do is then you have to put the same things you got at school, same kind of I don't know it's reward, reward system. and yeah. sanctions. It's, 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 when they go it's home, mad you say that because that becomes the main focus. Yeah. At the it's, time. Mad, it's mad you say that because we're talking about this is where I got the question from actually as well, like. Um, my auntie, she, I don't know if anyone's heard of that program um, on Channel 4 um, for the, that guy, Mr. Drew, and he had the, the kids with the behavioural problems and stuff. Oh, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. summer school kind of thing. Basically, mm -hmm. my auntie yeah. was on that and she works with kids with behavioural problems and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in the book, she actually said that, that one parent actually came up to her and asked her, how do I deal with it? Like, if he's behaving at school but acting a certain way at home, how do I deal with that? And she gave, like you said, she gave her the plan that she gives him mm -hmm. at, school. at school to take home. And yeah, it didn't happen straight away. But, so but uh, yeah, it's after what, time, yeah. it worked. Yeah, it? it worked. Yeah. And then the parent came back and then thanked him. And also, what it says in a book as well, it says the fact that the child could see that they was getting praised for stuff they were doing at home at school, yeah, and stuff they were doing at school at home, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? That's okay, where like made it yeah. inclusive and yeah. gave it a wholesome that yeah. Said, consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Consistency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's why I said it's key. That's why I said it's key. That's why I said it's key.
Like literally, like as soon as I opened the book, I was like, "Wow, this this is real. This is fact." Mm. And my auntie don't have kids. This mm. is what I'm trying to say. So it's like, for, uh, like as a teacher, I hear what you're saying. Like, mm. you, there's parents that care, and there's parents that don't care. And those parents there, like I said, you were talking about the government. I feel like the government should install things for like for them, like courses or maybe yes. like. Say like you do thirty seven hours in a week, but yeah, then each company I'm not saying they don't care because of the government. So you can go to a you know course saying? or go to a, like an open exactly. workshop to be like, okay, yeah. you can get these pointers and tips. Do you know what I mean? It's because not that they don't care because of the government. They're more laxadaisical because they think the government's going to take the over where the they where where, where they acting. should be yeah. doing. I've, I've always Other said I've always said over. that like when it comes to parent based workshops, nothing. You can go on Google. Um, um, Eventbrite, Shub, all that, not Shubby, but mm. Eventbrite and all of that, yeah. And you won't find workshops. It's just like antenatal classes and just uh, like, to me, unnecessary things. Yeah, like things yeah. that, that parents need are like financial help, like how to work, balance financial their finances, support, yeah. Yeah, how to install discipline and respect, how to um, self diagnose. So yeah. like, we're talking about like, any learning difficulties, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, These yeah. things they put in place yeah, that not. all. Co- co- like co- correspond mm-hmm. with, yeah, correspond with discipline mm-hmm. and respect and all of that. Do you know what I mean? To be honest, they're there, but it's hard to get a hold of. Like, for instance, but they should be mainstream. They yeah, should exactly, and that's what I'm saying. It should be all the big old adverts for Coca Cola. I think that should be one of the. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying. When he was bringing the government thing, it's like people can blame the government because they're the ones that want these brands to be that they they help the economy. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If these brands they don't go. The economy, what would the economy be? They can't run off life. Mm. Do you get what I mean? That's the sad thing about it. They can't run off life. If they promote in workshops, like no one's going to pay, let's say, for instance, £50 an hour to go to a workshop to learn how to discipline your child. Mm. Do you get what I mean? I'm not saying it's all the government yeah. enough. It takes two. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's but cool, I'm just but I'm just trying to say that the options should be there. Like, mm. when, I, when I see the, the situation, all I do is everything. I just look at what the common denominator is. I look mm-hmm. at how things was before mm-hmm. and but how things now. Got that, no, not everyone's got that headspace, but, though. But this is why we have this discussion, my brother. Mm-hmm. So if I put it out there, it might make someone think a Switch, little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. That even what, what all of us have said here, bro, it's definitely going to fall on someone's ear. That's mm-hmm. my thing, you know, my brother. It's not about reaching hundreds of thousands. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. person that's can it. take something. Mm-hmm. That's a full success right mm-hmm. there. Continues onwards. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yeah. that's the domino effect, my brother. You know what I'm saying? No four dominoes fall at the same time. One falls, then the next. Next one. You get me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just quickly touch on the structure. So, so structure does it bounce, correspond with? It's got to because you have to. Have, there has to be some form of structure in order for you to think this is the way I'm going to discipline my child. Mm-hmm. If you're not. Wow. You can't be free you, There's no way you can freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. But do you know what, though? Do you know what? What you said is reactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But also, right. when you, when you mm-hmm. think about, like, um, what you just said about parents working full-time and stuff, it is difficult to have yes, structure man. in place. Yes. Because, yeah. like, in a, with our situation, we're, we're both full-time working parents, but it is difficult because it's one day we've got some, you know, auntie's picking her up, then she's staying over auntie's house because by the time we get home, it's 10 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. So you can't pick her up from someone's house at 10 o'clock at night and drag her back home mm-hmm. to put her back to bed. It doesn't make sense. So it's about trying to have that cohesiveness mm-hmm. be- and, and going back to that old kind yeah. of ways of like family input it's and whatever. And having yeah. that, yeah, yeah. and having but that structure. Right. But it's difficult as but parents never, in this day and age it's difficult to hold mean, a set structure it doesn't mean it day can't in and day out. No, it's true. We're making it happen, but it's not easy. The hardest things for us are always the best things for us. Mm. And what you guys are doing is you guys are actually living in reality how a child is supposed to be raised. Because the parents still have to go off and cut some change. Make sure everything's nice for the family. So then it's not just the parents who raise the youth. Mm. It's not just the immediate family. It's, as you said, the wider community. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not, sometimes it's not just auntie or uncle or granny. Sometimes it might be your neighbour. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? My mum put me through them things there. My, my left with neighbours and all them kind of business there. You get what I'm saying? And I, I always say this, innit? I'm not saying I'm the best example to look at. I wouldn't even say look at me as an example. If anybody wants an example, look in the mirror and really see yourself positively in about 10, 15 years. That's the best example you can ever have of yourself. See what your dream is. Look in the mirror. Really envision that thing there. For the next 20 years, that is who you are. 
become mm. that. Don't look at mm. someone who's talking to you and you like what they hear and think you want to be that. No, yeah. you can't be me Learn and I can't be yeah. anybody else. Yeah. But I can take from people, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So this is the only thing man hope that everybody does is just take from this. Don't try and model, mm. take from it. So that you can use you. In regards to structure, personally, mm. I say like a more life structure I can give. Because my, I'm mm. a single mother, I work full time, so I get what you're saying in regards mm. to that consistency at home. But I look at structure in a moral way sense, in a faith sense, in a life, okay. long term. I would like mm. to give that consistency. Yeah. But I can't give you bedtime to be the same time every single mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Because I don't know what time I'm going to get home and I'm having to then take you and travel you somewhere else. Mm. That's the, that's the uh, I guess, mm. catch phase two or whatever mm. it is of mm. being a single parent. So I feel bad for my child, but at the same time, he's surrounded. Who am I living with? I'm living with my parents mm. or my sister. So he's surrounded by good energy. He's going to be mm. disciplined accordingly. He's going to be given time to do homework, all that stuff. But that consistency of like bedtime, strict from yeah. this on this, We're I can't do that. Same. A yeah. routine. Until, yeah. yeah, that's it. That routine's there. Not quite there. Yeah. <laughs> so that, was, that one there, that one there, because was definitely, that was a long one, right? Yeah, yeah. Very, very, <laughs> a very good one. So very vast opinions. <laughs> 43 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good one, though. That, that, that was definitely a good question. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Like, like, like Jay said, like, hopefully it does touch on some people's ears and you do start to make those movements in the right direction. And, yeah, make sure that you continue to follow the, 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 the movement, you know? And we, uh, hopefully, you, like I said, I know I'm like a parrot, I keep repeating myself, but I do hope that some of you do start making the right moves from now because discipline is very, very important and consistency for your child's future and for the future generation in general. Thank you, thank God. (laughs) (laughs) Should parents be praised for what they should be doing anyway? Yes.